Now, it's time for you to get to know your sewing machine, parts of the sewing machine and their functions. When I resumed sewing over 12 years ago, I christened my new sewing machine Dockers. And as it is with every new friend, it's time for you to get to know what makes up your sewing machine. Feel free to give your sewing machine a name. Your sewing machine would come with a manual. Get acquainted with it and place it in your sewing box for a quick reference. Here are the basic parts of a sewing machine. Your sewing machine may have additional features or look a bit different. What you need to do is look at the names here with the image on your sewing machine manual and on your sewing machine as well. First, we'll start with the bobbin. The bobbin, it holds the thread that comes from inside the machine, sometimes known as the lower thread or the bobbin thread. We have the bobbin case. This is the case that the bobbin sits in before it is loaded into the sewing machine. Note that you would only have a bobbin case if your sewing machine is a front loading bobbin sewing machine. Bobbin winder spindle. This is where the bobbin is placed in order to wind thread around the bobbin. The bobbin winder stopper. This is a stopper on your machine that stops the bobbin winding more thread on the bobbin when the bobbin has reached its maximum capacity. The bobbin winder thread guide. This is a tiny disc on your machine that guides the thread while you're winding the bobbin. The needle. The thread passes into the needle which is used for making stitches. The needle clamp screw is used to secure the needle to the sewing machine. The thread guide. The thread guide shows you the sequence of passing the thread from the spool of thread on the top of your machine through the machine and into the eye of the needle. Thread take up lever. The thread passes through this lever while you're threading your sewing machine. Thread tension dial. This controls the tension on the thread that is coming from the thread spool. If the bobbin thread appears on the right side of your fabric, then the tension is too tight. Or if the needle thread loops on the underside of your fabric, then the tension is too loose. The tension dial, the thread tension dial, is what you use to adjust this. Dog feed. The dog feed pulls the fabric forward while sewing, thereby feeding the fabric into the sewing machine. Spool pin. The spool pin holds the spool of thread in order to feed the thread into the eye of the needle, also known as the top thread. The balance wheel. This is the knob you will use to drive your machine manually. Turn the balance wheel towards yourself. You can see the needle goes up and down. Stitch width dial. This is used to set the width of your stitch. Stitch length dial. This sets the length of the stitch. When you're sewing fine fabrics like silk, shorter stitches are used, so you need a short stitch length. But while sewing heavier fabrics like denim, longer stitches are used. Stitch type dial. Used to select the pattern of stitch you intend to sew. Different machine comes with different patterns. Now is a good time to check the different stitch pattern on your sewing machine. This machine has straight stitches, zigzag stitches, and they are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Your machine may have a different way the stitches have been labeled. Reverse lever. You press this lever or button if you want the machine to sew backwards. 
This lever is normally used when starting or finishing your stitches. Presser foot. This is the standard foot for all sewing machines and is used for general sewing. As you go along in your sewing journey, you will be introduced to additional feet that you can fit into your machine to sew different types of stitches. The press foot lifter. This raises or lowers your presser foot. You will normally raise the presser foot when you want to change the, to a different type of foot or when you're placing your fabric on the sewing machine or removing your fabric from the sewing machine. Foot pedal. This controls the speed of the sewing machine. The harder you press the pedal, the faster your sewing machine runs. Press your pedal with cushion. Power supply. Connect the power cable of your sewing machine into your machine and connect the other end to your power socket on the wall. Hit the switch button on your sewing machine and your sewing machine is ready to be driven.